to start, could you take us back to the beginning? How did you discover your passion for music? Uh, it started at a really young age for me. Um, I was like six when I sang at my first like public thing. It was at a family reunion. <laughs> um, and I just kind of fell in love with it from there. But also I was in the church choir. My mom was the director. And also I come from a musical family. So it's just kind of been in yeah. my bones. I'm from Flint, Michigan, close to Detroit. So Motown was a big thing for me. Yeah, that actually might be the answer to this next question. But when you look at your career as a whole, who or what has had the biggest influence, either personally or professionally? Yeah, I mean, I think professionally, definitely it was Motown. I was influenced by Stevie Wonder and Diana Ross and, you know, the Jackson 5. I love Michael Jackson, obsessed. But also like Anita Baker was a huge influence for me and Donny Hathaway. And then personally, I just think my parents have always been so encouraging they've always supported me in a way that, um, you know, has helped me to keep my dream alive. So I'm grateful for that. You've been really open about the adversities that you face navigating this industry. During those more challenging times, how were you able to persevere? Yeah, um, you know, a lot of faith that somehow, some way it will work out. Um, and just keeping headstrong about that. I cling to my spirituality big time. Like I'm a big believer in manifestation and focusing on what you want and setting your intention on that. So I focused on that a lot. And then along the way, I just had a few people here and there that were always willing to help and step in and um, take a chance. So I'm very grateful for those people. On the flip side of that, you've also had tons of success throughout your career. When you look back, is there a particular moment that stands out to you? Yeah, look, like you said, there's been so much, right? Like there are definitely big moments that have happened over the years. I think meeting David Foster and being able to work with him was a big deal for me um, when that happened. And then also sort of taking back a bit of my own control from the industry itself and just sort of stepping out and doing, you know, the TV shows that sort of for me, solidified the fact that there is an audience for me. People are interested in me and what I have to say, and definitely my voice. So, yeah. And you've got a new EP out now, which marks an important chapter in your career. Can you tell us about Younger Skin and the inspiration behind it and the message that you hope to get across to your fans and listeners? Yeah, absolutely. So Younger Skin is definitely a labor of love. It happened, we recorded it really, really fast. Like I met Aiden LaPrette, who produced um, all the songs on the EP. And we started working and within like a week and a half, two weeks, I think we had the body of the EP. So it happened really fast, but I feel like that was a culmination of years of experience yeah. that were ready to flow out of me. This was the first time I got to speak in depth about my experiences in the industry and what that did to me personally. And so I'm singing about that in the music. Um, but I think like the main you know, message of the EP is just perseverance. You just have to keep going, right? If I had quit, I wouldn't be here talking to you, so. And, you know, there's so much vulnerability that's on this album. Was it ever a scary kind of feat to, to tap into to that emotion? Yeah, definitely. I didn't, I didn't really know how it would come out when we sat down together, um, but it did. It felt vulnerable in a way that I hadn't felt before while creating music, but I also felt safe. Um, because Aiden is such a, he's such a genius at being able to pull out of, of artists their individuality and pull out their stories. And so it was just a lot of us talking about what I'd gone through and him sort of sonically matching that with the lyrical content. So it was, <clears throat> it was an extremely um, liberating experience for me. Perfect to go to this next question, but you have such an incredible voice. How challenging is it to find that balance between kind of getting the message of the song across, but also finding places where you can let your voice shine? Yeah, that's hard, right? Especially um, because coming off the shows, I sang all of yeah. these big um, songs, you know, by Whitney Houston and Celine Dion. And so coming off the back of that, I wanted to also show people that I was more than just a big voice, that it's about my artistry. Um, and so I didn't know, again, I just didn't know how that would come out in the music. But once we got in the studio, I, there was, I pulled back vocally in a way that I've, I never had before. And there was a tone of my voice that felt different to anything that I've used before, which was 
interesting for me because I've been singing for so long, right? And so yeah. I'm thinking I know my voice completely in and out, but obviously there was something more in there. And I feel like it was the right tone to bring the story to life, if that makes sense. Definitely. And I know this is your debut solo EP. Did anything surprise you about the overall experience? What was the biggest takeaway that you'll apply to the next body of work? Oh, I think authenticity shocked me a lot because I've mm -hmm. spent so many years in this industry. I started really young and because I wasn't able to be myself fully because I was told not to, um, and there was a lot of editing and censoring that I did for myself that like I thought that I'd gotten past years ago and clearly I hadn't. And there was something about recording this music that brought out you know, and, and I'm learning every single day and more and more stuff is coming up. But, I, you know, my authenticity is something that has become extremely important to me and always being honest and speaking truth at all times and not hiding things. Um, so that, that that's what I've personally taken away from the experience for sure. Yeah. What sparked that kind of empowerment and kind of taking your career back into your own hands? Honestly, I have a team of people now surrounding me who support that fully yeah. and encourage me to be myself and have told me for the first time, like, your uniqueness is what's going to create longevity for you in this business past where you've already gone, you know, and it's, it's important that you're always honest and um, yeah, and they help facilitate that they bring it out in me, which is good. They push me, which forces me to push myself even further. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's the team of people I have around me now. If you had to pick a song off the EP that best encompasses who you are as an artist now, which would it be and why? Oh, that's so hard because I feel like the entire body of work sort of represents my journey, you know, from where I started up to this point. I will say that I feel very connected to the others, which is the single we have out now. Um, something about creating that song in particular felt guided in a way that um, I hadn't felt before. It felt bigger than us. It felt like my ancestors were somehow listening in and pushing us and guiding us in the right direction. So um, yeah, the others is the one I definitely feel most connected to. Great answer. Now, as we look ahead to the rest of 2022 into 2023, what can fans expect from you? <laughs> a lot more music. Um, I'm actually going back into the studio next month. Oh, cool. Um, to record as another project. And then I already have one project in the pipeline. It's completely different from my solo stuff. Um, I'm going to be releasing it under the name The High Ups. And um, Nick Littlemore from Pinal and Empire of the Sun, he produced the entire record. And uh, it's a dance record. It's upbeat. It's uplifting. It's completely different from my solo stuff. So that's coming next year and a second solo project.